violence in the West Bank shows that might be impossible. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Jerusalem. Well, let's go live to uh, Gaza now. You can see uh, this morning, it's now just after five past seven local time. And you can see the haze there and the smoke after another night of bombardment. I'm joined by Mohammed Taha from BBC Arabic. Good morning to you, Mohammed. Good morning, So Sally. just tell us more about what happened overnight. Yeah, as you said in the, uh, in the headline, the big news uh, this morning is the start of the attack in southern Gaza. So we were talking last two months of, uh, of focus of, of the fighting in northern Gaza. Uh, now the Israeli forces started, to, uh, to, uh, started an, a ground operation in uh, southern Gaza. There are two main highlights on that. So the first highlight uh, that Apparently, there, were, there, there, there is no a safe place in, in Gaza at the moment, especially even, even the places that the Israelis said that uh, the civilians can be safe, like Rafah and Western Rafah. We saw overnight bombardment to Al, Al Jinena uh, quarter, which uh, sh should be supposed to be a, a safe place for civilians. So there is, there is no safe place for these uh, civilians uh, at the moment. There is also uh, strikes targeted uh, Kamal. Udwan Hospital in northern Gaza. This is the only working hospital uh, in northern Gaza. The humanitarian situation became really uh, tense in, in, in that regard. And we, we heard lots of, of distressing stories, Sally, uh, Sally, about a whole families that wiped from the registration because they all died, uh, uh, children without any survival families, um, bodies under rubble that people cannot get them out. And and also, uh, people are living in a, a beyond catastrophic situation, as a British Palestinian uh, uh, person said uh, recently. Now, in terms of the humanitarian aid, which does continue to get in, doesn't it? But of course, now uh, Gaza is under bombardment again. It makes it more difficult for distribution, etc. Uh, I suppose that most of the aid has stopped because the bombardment are, is now focused on on the south, where this aid should uh, coming from. So uh, most of the aid uh, is stopped. is is a dire situation. People uh, without w people are eating a sandwich a day. They don't have clean water and I talked uh, the, the Sally this war is taking like a, a global impact as as I talked with the, with the Palestinian uh, British family here and they told me how distressed they live day and night because they have their families there in Gaza they try to check on them and they are t they are in a nightmare that they wake up one day and they don't f find them so the the war is taking this uh, somber mood globally uh, amongst many uh, people w who are who are really concerned about their families uh, in Gaza Mohammed thank you so much uh, for the latest on that Mohammed Taha there from BBC Arabic now let's get some of the day's other news